roll down your window and like, yo, that thing looks awesome. Makes <laughs> so. the paradox. <laughs> All right, we got a Toyota Tacoma in the house. So we're doing big trucks now. So we've upgraded the game. We're doing everything. The lady just bought this and it's only got 5,000 miles on it. Incredibly rare for a truck like this. Is it a double cab for two full doors? Yeah, I think the double cab is the four door and then extended cab is that half door. But... This is a white truck. So it's gonna be a little harder to wrap. It's a truck that's in very nice condition stick shift manual just like how it should be trd sport package we're gonna try to do this without taking the truck bed off because a lot of you guys are trying to wrap your own trucks trying to wrap your own cars at home and you don't really want to take one of these apart over here there's some um ppf stock ppf that's on here we're told to just wrap right over it this emblem does have to come off right here because there's no way for you to wrap around that and get it in there so We'll just fish line that off for her, put it in the truck. This thing looks a little complicated. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this front bumper here. Maybe we'll run a seam right here. So we'll see. I don't really know until we get into it. Vlad's gonna be helping me with this one. We're gonna tackle this truck together because he did the last one. In this video, we're gonna show you how to measure out and cut out a Toyota Tacoma. If you have one of these, which is very common, or a truck that looks similar to this, you can follow this video guide and figure out how to wrap your own truck without taking anything apart. Headlights can stay, mirrors can stay. The only thing we're taking apart are these door handles. Action. All right, so here is the color. This is the chameleon gray, purple, blue on the website. You can get this at paradoxstyling.com or you can go on to Paradox Wraps and check out all the other colors if you want something different. We've done this one before in a Mustang. I'll put the picture of what that looks like up here. Now with a truck this big, you're gonna want to potentially order extra. Right now, I'm starting to make all the colors available with extra footage on the website. It's just taking me some time to go in there and just reprogram everything. A lot of the most popular colors are already listed with extra footage. You can get up to 80 feet. The only catch is that the factory makes this in a 60 foot continuous roll. Any amount beyond 60 feet will be taped onto the original roll. So if you get 80 foot, it'll be 60 feet and then it'll be a 20 foot section that's taped onto the roll. You just have to plan it out accordingly when you're cutting out one of these rolls because the first 20 feet is probably something you wanna use for the whole side or a very big piece. I got mosquitoes and stuff flying all over me. As you guys can see, they're attacking me, man. Like, we get uh. raided by the agents. <laughs> all right, let's take this thing inside because I'm gonna get stung if I stand out here any longer. We're gonna go into the lab. We'll show you what this looks like under LED and we'll get started with the fender first. Let's party. We're here in the garage without the mosquitoes and this is what the color looks like inside. So it looks really amazing. It's got the blue tint but with the purple. So it's got the gray thing as well. So this looks a little bit similar to the candy magenta purple Nardo gray, but slightly different. This roll is I think 75 feet. The outside portion is taped to the inside portion. Regardless of whatever year it is or what type of truck it is, it is similar in that it has a fender, the archway, okay? It's got the four doors. It's got the underside that can be wrapped separately and then it's got the truck bed. So most of the trucks are kind of the same. This one has a hood scoop on it, but it's not too bad. What you want to do first is figure out how long your fender's going to be. I always do the fender first. So this is a whopping 38 inches, 39 all the way down. We can't do the S cut on this one. It's too much. It's not going to be enough for the other fender. If any fender is beyond 34 inches, it's best just to cut the fender up by itself. Now you can save the piece on top or something else. We're gonna cut it extra on top here because we have to account for this piece. This piece is done separately. So instead of cutting 38, we're gonna go 40. That way it has some room to slide. The doors should be coming out of this C-shape thing here. This continues down here, but there is a body line right here. So I'm gonna actually seam it. 
That way I'm not running really tight because this section from here to here is really tall. Okay, I don't wanna to have to stretch it. So I'm basically gonna cut the door out of this, but this is gonna be an L shape. And then the bottom piece will take it out of something else maybe the top of the bed. I can't use the same piece for both sides of the bed. I have to just leave a piece up top. So that's why you kind of want extra. And you're gonna take the bed piece and you're gonna stick it down there. All right, let's party.
While I was wrapping this thing, the power went out all over Northern California. So it did take a little longer. Did you guys see any of this get done? I did. The Live? Not yet. Okay, good, good, good. This color, this color looks amazing. Um, I think it's better than that one on the 240 as well. So they're kind of similar, but we'll show you guys the difference. We got the garage review. All right, Vlad, open it up. Whoa. Oh Charlie, my look goodness. Look at that. Oh, it looks amazing. That looks awesome. I love it. Oh, that looks so good. It's cool, right? Oh, no, that looks sick. What do you think, Char? Is it your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> this thing no, is looks great. This thing is very hard to do. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It took a lot of material. So okay. we did a video on how to wrap a Tacoma. Okay. And basically, this whole thing was like, it took the whole, like, almost 75 feet. So oh, I, wow. I had to order extra for your truck. Okay. Just because it's a big truck. Yeah. Normally, we do it with 60 feet. And then I did mess up once over there. And I, luckily, when I messed up, when you mess up on one of these pillars, which is what I did, I was able to cut it out of this thing gotcha. no, and put it great. over there. Yeah, oh, this looks awesome. a million times better than it did before. Hell yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. So I didn't take the truck bed off at all. Uh, yeah. um, I just slipped a piece back yep. there. And then I just wrapped everything over on top of it. Right here, we, we slip in a little piece. Okay. Yeah. So that there's a, like a little bit of an overlap here. Sure. Just so you don't see any yeah, yeah. of the white. No, it looks clean. But yeah. That looks so good. This thing looks spectacular. You like that purple, gray, blue yeah. shift to and it? Yeah, it's got kind of that pink flash in certain lights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, when you bring it out in the sunlight, you'll see a little bit of that pink flash. Yep. So you can kind of see it like right yep. there. Yep. So, yeah. Definitely better than white. Way better than white. <laughs> no, this looks clean. Thank you. You're welcome. So right here on these um, these fenders, they're done in a separate piece. Oh, okay. So basically there's an overlap <laughs> between this piece and this piece. Gotcha. Um, you don't really have to worry about anything other than that's just how I did it. Sure. Um, you just want to wash this thing just like regular. Sure. But with the solutions I'm going to send you. Sure. Okay, so... You, you don't want to take this thing to a car wash. Right. Um, if you touch it, go ahead and touch the touch the surface. You feel how slick that is? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it this is that slick because we put the special coating on it. Okay. And what you want to do is put the triple S coating, which I'll show you um, on this probably about once a week. Okay. That way it stays slick. On this car right over here, I put this on maybe two weeks ago. Okay. And it's kind of been sitting outside, but... So As you can see, even though it's been raining for this yeah, whole last it week, looks it looks pretty clean because yeah. of the, the stuff that we put on there that makes it slick gets everything off of it. Right on. So generally, once you coat it with a slick solution, if you really want to wash it and it looks dusty like this, you can just hose it off yeah. and then just towel it off. Right on. So this is, this is the wash you want to do, but you don't want to use a lot of it. Right. You just put a uh, half a cap full into a spray bottle just like this. So you put it in a spray bottle like this, you can just spray it on the car 
and just leave it for a couple minutes, then you can simply just wipe it off. Okay. Or you blast it with a hose if you have like a lot of dirt around your, you know, wheel sure. well or whatever. Okay. And then and then that's it. The inside, uh, we wrap it like this, where you yep. just can't see sure. the white uh, once you close the door. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So, right um, th this is what it looks like right here when you wrap over, yep. um, what you call it, the paint protection film. Yep. So, I mean, I it's a it truck, looks it looks rugged. I don't think it looks bad. Yeah, it looks good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything just stayed on. Yeah, I took off the TRD stickers, which I'm fine with. <laughs> you can put new ones on. I could, but. Is there ever a Tacoma that is not TRD? Yes. yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Good. Hey, it looks purple out here. <laughs> yeah, so out here in the yeah. shade, it does look a little more like, purple. I like there it. was there was the purple, and then when you were backing it in, it uh, had the gray blue. I'm like, that is a really good color. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> is it your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Let me grab what's left of the roll. Okay. I gotta show them how I gotta show sure. them how many footage is left once we once we were done. Here's what's left of the roll. Once we did it, I did order extra for this truck. And good thing I did because I don't think I can finish this big truck with 60 feet. Just because it's a double cab. So here we got the full roll laid out. And the reason why we have this cut here, that's because the, bo the bottom portion here was cut to do the tailgate. So I don't want to use the whole thing. I don't want to scrap this in case we want to redo like something in the front bumper or if they hit whatever, a tree, tree branch or whatever, you can cut this off and you can use this potentially for another portion if you need to get repairs done. So minus this portion, you have probably about, there's about five feet left. Okay, so with a 75 foot roll, this is what I ordered. You have about five feet left over with an extra strip with an extra spare piece i didn't scrap any <laughs> i didn't scrap any pieces the only thing i redid was this uh a pillar right here uh, i i nicked the part right over here with the blade so that it split the wrap a little bit so i had to redo this a pillar and to redo that thing all i did was just cut it out of one of the back quarter panels or one of the back truck beds so I just extended a little longer by about three feet and then I cut the L shape out and I moved the rest onto here if I didn't do that I would probably have about maybe I would say eight feet left over with this extra portion if you're doing a truck and you want more than 60 feet message me or email me if the option to order more than 60 feet is not available I'm still working on making that available for all the colors of course I'm gonna make it available for this one since I've done the truck, I just got to reprogram some of the stuff on the website. So make sure you go on the website, check out all the colors and order what's appropriate. Most of the time, 60 feet will do any vehicle, but if you're doing a large double cab like this, you're going to want the 75 feet or 80. If you want this color, go order it from the website right now and get your truck looking like this. If you see them rolling around anywhere in Sacramento or Penn Valley, right? If you see them rolling around, Honk at them and let them know you saw them on the channel <laughs> and how good this truck looked. Roll down your window and be like, yo, that thing looks awesome. Thanks <laughs> so. <to> Paradox. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for trusting me with your truck. If you guys want your truck done, let us know. We can do large vehicles. Anything that you need done, we can make it happen. DM me or email me on my email. All right. This thing is looking sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I like this color better than that one. Yeah, cuz cuz this one has this one's like richer. I guess. You know what I mean?
Ooh, it looks good. All right, see you later.